today I'm going to show you how to make your own uh, bead tool. I guess you'd call it a bead crimper for crimping the bead on your uh, aluminum intercooler charge pipes. You can see that pipe doesn't have one on there. I'm going to show you how to do it. With this, a crappy $399, if I get a picture up in here, $399 pair of uh, nine and a half inch wire crimping pliers from Harbor Freight. What you want is you want a pair, you can get them from anywhere, cheaper the better. You can see this right here, that's what actually does the crimp, so we don't need any of this. We're gonna break that out of there. So what we're gonna do is, is we are going to cut, I'm trying to get into the camera here. We're going to cut it right there, just leaving this. Now some guys say they can do it and leave this on there, but I think you're going to scratch your tube. Not that it really matters, I'm, I don't know, but I'd rather just cut it and have the, the less going into the pipe as possible. Let's see here, cut back on there. Try to get, make sure I get this up in the camera. You can see right there where we're going to cut it. Okay, so you can see here where this is the part we're going to get rid of. Show them in the camera there. You can see how that'll work. All we're going to use to cut it is an air cutoff tool. With uh, what is this? I'm not sure what size this is. Like a three-inch cutoff wheel. So we'll take this. We will mount it in a vise. Now you do have to be careful with these cutoff wheels. You can cut this. You could cut this with a hacksaw if you wanted to, or you could grind it off. I think this is probably the best way. So just be careful with these because these will come apart on you and they are incredibly dangerous. I don't have the shield on this one because I don't know where it's at. Not a straight cut, but it doesn't really have to be. But you can see right there, we now have a way to crimp. And I'll go back and I'll clean this up with a flat disc, a roll lock disc. And you saw how easily that cutoff wheel cut through this cheap steel, this cheap Harbor Freight steel. I'm pretty certain that you wouldn't have cut through a snap-on or a Mac or another high-end tool that easily. So. Okay. Now let's try here. Oh, I got it backwards. There we go. Duh, dumbass. You can see, now I'm not squeezing it all the way. I think that you have to play it by ear, how much of a crimp you want. And by no means, these aren't going to be as pretty as the crimps on, you know, a store-bought tube. But it doesn't really matter because you're not going to see it. The whole point of this is just to offer a way for the... Uh, to get stuck on because what happens is let's say you're just using this and you put the, your intercooler silicone coupler on there well if you get enough boost it's gonna pull apart and there's nothing for it to catch even this little tiny crimp on here with the clamp on there tightened down it might move but once that clamp comes to right about here on that silicone it's not going anywhere and you can see that's not that deep of a, because I'm not pushing that hard. Let's push a little harder and see what it does. This is one of those things I think you just have to practice.
This is the first one I've made, at least. Oh. But you can see right there, it does come into the pipe a little bit, so you could probably clean that up or just adjust it. You'd want to use a little bit less pressure. But it does make a bead that's proud of the surface. Let's see here. You can see right there. Let me get to make sure the camera's getting this. So I get up as close as I can without hitting the mic. You can see how it puts the bead on there. I've been messing around with it, practicing different ways of uh, different uh, pressures, and I found the trick to it. You can see this bead is raised proud of the surface pretty good, but yet it's not turned all over inside like the one I showed you earlier. I got a piece of scrap here, and I'll show you how to avoid that. What happens is, squeeze it there. Let me check my camera here. Is when you want to you squeeze it like that the handle wants to pivot in due to the design of this so when you do that see how it wants to pivot in well you, you get a very very little bead but then you get this big lip over here you don't want that so what you do is you force the pliers you fight the force that's coming this way and you hold it and you can squeeze it hard We'll do a couple of them. It's hard to do this and watch the camera. But you can see the difference there. Get them all. You can see the difference how much more raised that bead is than this bead, and you don't have nearly the amount of turn in on the end here so that that's about as beaded out as as if you went out and bought a pipe that was already beaded that's about how much they are okay this is the charge pipe for my truck the new one that's going on and you can see i went ahead and did a bead on it you can see how much more raised that bead is with a little bit of practice ignore my crooked cut there but you can see also you don't have the amount of turn in after the bead so it's not sticking down into the air path so that that's right there is pretty close to what a production bead is in, in terms of height and you can see i cut this with a rollock disc that's the only thing i had here to cut it and you can see the cuts kind of off which isn't a big deal but you can see the bead follows the cut which is pretty handy because if not if the bead just went straight, you wouldn't get a complete bead right here. You'd get a malformed bead, and that would allow it, the silicone to maybe come off right there. You're not going to have that. So that's a nice bead all the way around, and there is no way that's coming off when it's clamped properly. You can see right there what it looks like before it's beaded. It took me probably about three minutes to do this one. So you figure my truck got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a, you can do it under 20 minutes with this tool for $4. I just wire wheeled it up a little bit and took some of the burrs off the edge of it. But right there you go. Your $3.99 Harbor Freight bead tool. So, alrighty. Thank you.